Hi everyone, I'm Catalina and I want to share with you my research. We developed a national online survey to determine management and feeding practices for the care of unweaned calves and also to determine what factors have influenced producers to continue using buckets or bottles or to switch to automation. 670 responses were received from across Canada, corresponding to a 5.7% of all dairy farms in the country. 84% were farms feeding milk to calves manually, and almost 16% use automated milk feeders. Farms using automated milk feeders had a median hair size of 110 cows compared to 60 cows for those using manual feeding methods. Free stalls and AMS were more common among farms with automated milk feeders. In farms with automated milk feeders, calves were typically housed in groups of 10 to 15, while almost 75% of the farms feeding milk manually house calves individually. Although both manual and automated groups started out feeding similar amounts of milk on average, milk fed to automated fed calves peaked significantly higher and stayed higher for longer. We found the four most important factors that motivated producers to switch from manual to computer control milk feeding systems were 1. To raise better calves 2. To offer more milk to calves 3. To reduce labor and finally to improve working conditions. The cost of equipment, investment in group housing facilities and having a small hair were the most common factors mentioned for manual fed farms for stopping the adoption of automated milk feeders. There are more results coming soon, but for now, why all this matter? Well, the benchmarking survey data allow us to have a glimpse of calf reading practices across Canada. This research also assists in identifying producers' motivators and possible barriers for adoption of automated milk feeders. Therefore, an improved understanding of producers' needs will lead to a better development of strategies and best management practices to optimize calf welfare and performance. It will also show researchers and extension agents how well recent calf research findings have been adopted and assist in determining focus of future research and technology transfer outreach. And also it will encourage some producers to improve their practices by knowing what others are doing. Thank you so much to the dairy producers and industry partners who helped to make this survey a success.